this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel, and I'm sorry I haven't said anything for two weeks. Now, you remember about a month ago when I said I'd wanted to do a Q&A, and that I wanted to do it on a weekly basis? <laughs> That's not happening. But what I can do is a Q&A on the whenever I can basis. So while I sit here doing this wonderful complicated compositing work. I've got this. You probably can't tell what's on the screen, but it's got your uh, questions on a note file and the D&D dice roller. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice. I've got 35 questions on that list, of which I'm going to answer 10. I'd do all 35, but then I would be here for a few hours. So without further ado, let's get started. I gotta make a list. Well, I'm, I'm I'm partial to horror movies. I don't know. It depends on the story. The truly frightening movies for me are the ones that are plausible, I guess. So zombie movies are kind of way out there for me. But uh, things like Contagion, I would say, are a, that's a horror movie. I haven't seen it, but I suspect it would be frightening. No alien invasion movies. They, they, Alien invasion movies never made any sense for me. I mean, why would aliens invade Earth? It's like that Battle LA movie where they come down and they're trying to steal our water when there's plenty of water in the asteroid belt and on other planets without a populace of well-armed crazy people. Um, I guess if someone, if someone were to make a movie about a true economic collapse, not like the 2008 one, I mean, like, Everything is gone. Like, no one has any money. That kind of movie. That I would consider kind of a horror movie. Sort of horror movie. Uh, you know, but it, it's just whatever is more realistic. That's Those are the kind of movies that I like. Uh, no? Am I going to respond to someone's five minutes worth of poor commentary on me? I already did that jackhole once. Although it was pretty fun, and if I were to do a response to that video, it would be... Actually, that... It, it, huh. Actually, that, that might be fun. I don't know, I'm just... A lot of the times, I don't really want to do the, like, videos in response to the responses. Like, I mean, I don't want to do... I don't want to go after people's commentaries on me, because for the most part, they suck. Like, there was this one that I saw a couple of months ago that, I mean, their audio was just... I couldn't... I couldn't hear them. Then they were just kind of rambling in the background, and they didn't bother to cut my audio, they didn't bother to pause the movie. They just kept talking over me, but I was able to talk over them. You know, you, when, you're, when you're doing a commentary on someone, and you're gonna be talking while they're talking, it's important to keep their audio at the level where the audience can hear them, but it's also important to balance it out with yours so people can hear you. Otherwise, it just kind of sounds like this whisper in the background. I guess to answer your question in a more, in a broader sense, to answer your question, I will only do someone's response video to me if it's of equal quality to my video on them, or my videos. Or it has the potential to be entertaining. He's never contacted me, but I suspect he knows about my videos. Although I also suspect that he's not smart enough to actually get in touch with me. Like, I doubt the guy even really knows how to make a video response to someone. Actually, I'm pretty sure the guy doesn't know about a lot of things, but responding to me would be one of those things he doesn't know about. That and how to shave properly. And anything about the Bible. And anything about modern society. And anything about anything. James the Preacher is just fucking stupid. I do not always make my vlogs in the woods. Case in point, this vlog is in my office. As well, the first two vlogs I did were also here. The only reason I prefer doing them outside is because it's a nice change of pace. I spend lots of time in this room, and I spend lots of time indoors. So when I get the opportunity on like, I mean, I can't do it today because it's raining, but 
when I get the opportunity to take the camera outside and talk one-on-one -on -one with you while I take a walk or something, I'm yeah, I like doing that. It's a matter of personal preference because I need sunlight. Well, uh, have you checked under your couch? That's sometimes where they can leak out. Or, uh, I don't know, have you used any public restrooms in the past couple of weeks? Because sometimes you can leave it by the toilet and, you know, just leave and forget about it. Stop asking me this fucking question! Look, I know the guy is controversial or something. I also know he took his dick out on YouTube or on a live stream or something. He took his dick out in front of people that didn't want to see it. But here's the thing, and I've said this in comments, I don't know a goddamn thing about wrestling. I mean, I kind of watched it when I was a kid, but I didn't pay attention. I just thought it was kind of silly. I mean, I know there are people who like it, but I'm, I'm just personally not into wrestling. So if I was gonna do that sins views, if I was gonna do that guy, I'd have to, I'd have to feed him based on his merit as a person, if that makes any sense at all. The point is, the point is I, I, I don't know any, a, a whole lot about wrestling. So, his references would just go right over my head. And I really don't feel like spending all day in front of a, re a wrestling Wikipedia page looking all that crap up. I did enough of that shit during the 50 Reasons, you know, look, you know looking up his claims, like he'd list out these newspaper reports and stuff and I'd have to stop what I was doing and go Google it and see. It's a pain in the ass! If you can show me a video of his where he's just being a jackass, period, I might do it. But as far as his regular videos, like when he talks about, oh, there's this bombshell Barbie Clarissa, and she's going up talking smack to Tower Man. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that is. And unless you guys are really interested in seeing a Feeding the Trolls where I am completely lost as to what the person is talking about, I don't really want to do Sin, Sin Basin. I know it's not a hard name to pronounce, but for some reason I'm struggling with it. Next question. The what movies? I've lost my faith in jellyfish. Well, congratulations, your question made it to this video. But to answer your question, no, I don't play Team Fortress 2 because I lack the internet connection to do any kind of serious online games. If I did, you sure as hell can bet your ass I wouldn't have to drive 15 miles to upload these goddamn videos. But I, um... Uh, uh, the one the one time I did play Team Fortress 2, uh, I like the sniper. Actually, any opportunity that I've ever had to play a game online that was like an FPS, I prefer first I prefer the snipers. I'm I'm a sniper. I, I like sniping. Yes, I am a jackass player. I'm a jackass camping sniper, son of a bitch. You know, I actually have, and uh I don't know, I mean, for the most part, the trolls that I do are acts. I mean, they, they're they like, like the, the Call of Duty Enlightenment movement, the guy's not serious. You know he can't be fucking serious. It's a complete act, he's just trying to get on people's nerves, and I suspect that as a person, he's probably okay. Like Monkey Game Guides, you know, I don't think Monkey Game Guides is actually walking down the streets of Britain going, oh, I hate everything, everything is terrible. Oh, look at that stone, it's, it's not as good as Call of Duty stone because Call of Duty stone isn't bronies because they're fags. Ah. Then you've got people like James Lehman or James the Preacher. James the Preacher is a horrible person. Online and in real life, 
he's evil. People like a uh, conservative elite who turn to dust or something. You know, people, people who say R.I.P. John Wilkes Booth, an American hero. You know, those people. Yeah, they're awful, horrible asshole people. Yeah. So, I mean, it varies. You know, trolls are people. And like people, you have, you have the good, the bad, and the ugly, and then the middle ground. Just, you know, they, they run the gambit. Ah, well, clearly, uh, given my last vlog, well, actually, given the vlog that I had a couple of months ago, I live in North Carolina, home of some really great people and some of the best wine on the fucking planet. Anyway, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel. Thank you for your questions. This was actually uh, a lot funner than I thought it was going to be. If you have any questions you want me to answer, list them in the comments below. Please, only one question per user just to make my job a little easier because when you have multiple questions I have to feed that through the dice roller to randomly pick out the one that goes on the list. Anyway you guys have a good day and hopefully around the same time this video goes out a new Feeding the Trolls and a new Brody's Mind will be out as well. So you know here's crossing my fingers and hoping I can actually make that deadline.